Welcome back, RTCV mappers. Let's talk about script movers. It's a brush turned into a script mover, and it has to have a so-called origin brush. Let me show you. I will create something here. I select it, right click in the 2D window and turn it into a script mover. It's now an entity. If we press N to bring up the entities window, we can see that it's indeed a script mover entity. Enter target name and my first script mover. And script name and my first script mover. Select solid to make it firm and something that we can touch in the game. Next, I open the common folder and select the origin texture. I create a small cube. Technically, it is just a primitive brush. Press N to verify that it is part of the map's ordinary brushes. Deselect everything. Now we want to make the primitive origin cube a part of the script mover entity. First, we select the cube. Then press the Shift key on your keyboard and select the script mover. It's important that we do this in the right order. First, we select the simple primitive cube. And then we select the entity. Both objects are selected. Next, go to the top menu and click on the tab Entity. Select Move Primitives into Entity. Now if we select the cube and press N, we can indeed see that it is now a part of the script mover. Now let's decide on where this script mover should move. Right click in the 2D window and select Path Corner. Press N and enter Target Name and you can call it anything. I'll just choose Position 1. You can put this Path Corner anywhere in the map. I'll just put it over here. The script mover and the cube will go to that position. Specifically, it's the center of the cube that will go to the path corner. Finally, we need to create a new script file. This will be a milestone in your RTCV mapping learning journey. Start with a blank page and enter the following. The name of the entity, my first script mover. In the event handler, write go to marker position 1 40. The number at the end is just the speed. You can write 30 or 50 or whatever. I'll just randomly pick 40. A higher number and the script mover will travel faster. RTCV scripting is made up of entities and events. And in this example, the entity is the script mover named my first script mover. The spawn event is empty so far, and our main event is not finished. We need a name here. Let's call it Stop Moving. And all we need now is something that will trigger this event. Any suggestions? 
Let's use the spawn event. I'll enter wait 8000, which is 8000 milliseconds, which equals to 8 seconds. Then I just write trigger my first script mover start moving don't forget to save the script and it has to have the same name as your map followed by dot script and we save it in the same place in the same folder as our map file and the ai script file all in all we now have two script files one for the ai including the player and one for the brushes, for example, the script movers. Compile the map and recreate the two bot files. Yes, after eight seconds, our script mover did move to the path corner named position one. Let's add a sound effect when it has reached position one. The command is play sound. And the rest here is just a path to a sound. And this specific sound effect, it comes with the original game and it's already included. Please note that I added the sound effect after the script mover has reached position one. Let's test the map. Hmm, did you hear that? The sound effect was played immediately. But I wanted it to play at the end, when the script mover had reached its end position. Back to the script. The trick here is to add the command wait. Wait is used, so the script will not read ahead until the script mover has reached position 1. Wait halts the script's progress. It ensures that nothing else happens until our script mover has reached its intended destination. It's like when you're out walking, waiting for the green light before crossing the street. Perfect! This way, we make sure that our sound effect only plays once the script mover has arrived at its position, not a moment before. Let's add two more path corners. and add them to our script. Testing the map again. Wonderful. Let's add a starting sound. Nice starting and ending sounds. But the traveling was silent. We need a looping sound, like some sort of machine sound. I'm adding a looping sound here.
Hmm, the looping sound was good all right, but it only lasted for a few seconds. The trick is to add the word looping at the end of a sound. Now the machine loop will continue. Hmm, that loop just kept on looping. Guess what? There's a scripting command for that. Just add stop sound. And it will stop the sound that the script mover is playing. Write a comment, click thumbs up, share the video, and keep on RTCV mapping.